Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert again, and uh, today I'm going to show you a really neat trick that a guy called Sean Farley comes across on Twitter as Din Interference, and uh, he uh, tweeted, he said, for the record, Synaptics Unfilter can do an amazing job of creating matching room tone out of pink noise. I thought, wow, that sounds interesting. So I tweeted him and he tweeted back and told me how he does it. And I'm going to show you this really clever little trick that Sean Farley has shared. So firstly, here's an example. So I've got a piece from a documentary that I made recently and there's quite a lot of background noise, but not a huge amount out clear. So it makes it very difficult when I'm cutting it to have some matching room tone that I can use under other things. So let me just play you a little bit of this. A meter square, because these are cork oak, and each of those trees is four tons. So you can hear there's quite a lot of background noise. In fact, there's even some police sirens in the background. So what you need to do is to highlight a section where we've got a bit of clean audio and put the learn function on in unfilter and just play it so now it's got a grab of that profile we can save that profile so here i am i'm going to call it manchester 4 and save it and now uh, i can bypass that plugin and uh, close it and so now uh, what i can do is to go into the audio suite menu Go and get its audio suite opposite number. Turn the learn off and now load that profile. So Manchester 4, open. So now we've got that profile. I can now highlight the pink noise that I've already created using the Pro Tools signal generator plugin and now uh, audition that through the unfilter profile. And what we can do is to turn the intensity down quite a lot uh, and then tweak the weighting so it gets some rid of some of that very little, little strong LF. We can tweak the resolution a little bit and sometimes it's useful just to tweak the EQ that's in it. And so Let's just take a listen and see what that sounds like compared to the original. So let me just pause that and go back here. Oak, oak. And each of so in fact, let's just bring the level down a little bit more so we can use this one. So back here and listen again. So that's my modified version using pink noise and uh, we just stop that now and then just play this bit. Park oak and each of those trees is four tons. You can see that already it's very very close to the original noise that I took a little snapshot of. So a really really neat idea to be able to take small snapshots of background room tone audio and turn them into longer files uh, of matching room tone. So all I would need to do is once I'm happy with that highlight it click the render button, out goes the unfilter, renders that out to some noise and now I can use that, perhaps bring the clip gain down and I can start cutting that into my finished audio. So there we go, a really neat trick, thanks to Sean for sharing that one and uh, I'll see you soon.